Oh god, I've got goosebumps. I never thought that someone rubbing two sticks on my head would feel this good. Hey guys! It's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I booked in for a treatment at a very special exclusive spa in Korea. This spa is located in Apujong, which is the high-end swankier part of Gangnam. This is one of the richer neighborhoods. And the spa owner has requested that I do not reveal the name of her spa or location because she deals with top celebrity clientele and she respects their privacy issues so she doesn't want her place getting too crowded so how did I hear about this place well my friend who lives in Korea Daniela she actually gets her facials done at this spa and the spa actually specializes in a special treatment called ear seeding have you guys heard of that? Basically, ear seeding is like acupuncture of the ear, but instead of using needles to stimulate pressure points, small ear seeds are placed on specific areas to help stimulate the body and nervous system. This treatment apparently has numerous health benefits, such as relieving chronic pain, such as back pain, um, helps with stress, anxiety, weight loss, insomnia and I read that it actually helps with infertility as well and um, it's supposed to also depuff your face making your face more symmetric or even and balanced and it helps to make it smaller when I visited Korea I asked Daniela if she could pull some strings for me to see if she can get me a booking at the spa as well as ask if I can film it and so she did and this is how it went we started off with a facial cleanse just to remove my existing makeup and impurities and so that way they can analyze my skin. I have blackheads and pores and so they're going to pop on something to help melt that away. Now the therapist is applying a soothing gel to help hydrate and moisturize my skin whilst my blackheads are getting softened and prepped for extraction. So the owner of the salon came in to have a look at my skin and um, she said my skin's a little bit dry, which is true because it's like winter here and my, my skin has been playing up. I've been getting a lot of like little dots and pimples like in between my eyes. And she's like, you like to snack a lot. And I was like, <gasps> how did she know? Cause that's so true. That's all I've been doing. I've just been snacking at night. And now she can tell. I've been eating those honey butter almonds. Next up, we're doing a jade therapy, and she can see the therapist is holding this instrument with these balls, and apparently that's going to help to stimulate my muscles and help stretch it. I've never had this done before, so we shall see. It's going to make a noise. It kind of feels like I'm just rolling my own face, that kind of sensation. Oh, now that feels weird. Oh. <laughs> it's not painful. It's kind of like almost tickly. This motion that she's doing is supposed to help stretch and stimulate the muscles and help to lift my skin. It's actually really relaxing and kind of hypnotizing. Oh my god, it's so tickly. Anyone that touches my neck, I like oh. get goosebumps. <laughs> I can definitely feel it stretching around my jaw muscles, maybe because the muscles around that area is bigger. So we're upgrading attachments now, we're going bigger. Apparently this treatment is actually going to help make my face more symmetrical because it's a little bit asymmetrical. I mean most of us aren't going to have symmetric faces because I think that would be like impossible. So this is just to help to balance up my face. Ooh. 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 It's really tickly. It's just because it's my neck, but I think for normal people, this will feel amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's just me. I can definitely feel this one much more. I can't so much feel a pulse, but I definitely feel it stretching my muscles. Safe to say, I have never had this experience, guys, so it's very, very new to me. Oh god, I've got goosebumps. I feel like this is giving me a lymphatic drainage. You know when you use a gua sha on your face and you run it over any knots or little bumps on your skin? 
That's what it feels like when she's running the sticks along my jawline. I feel pretty <laughs> loose, like stretched. Oh. Oh. I never thought that someone rubbing two sticks on my head would feel this good, but it's very relaxing. The stick didn't feel hot, but now I feel hot. I feel very stretched, especially when she went in with the two sticks and went mm -hmm. and I was just like <laughs> <laughs> Usually when you get a massage, like back in Australia, they use like a face oil, something with more slip as well, but I guess like a gel does the same thing, but it doesn't leave you feeling like oily and it doesn't get in your hair, which I hate, so this is nice. Okay, this is much better than the sticks. <laughs> Actually, you can feel all the little knots like kind of mm. like popping almost. Now we're ready to move on to the next treatment. She's applying an ampule now and prepping my skin for the LED light therapy, which is going to help brighten and lift my skin. Oh, that's weird. It's like vibrating, but then it's kind of like, is it blowing air? I don't know. This device feels like it's cleaning my face. It's almost like a giant Clarisonic with bigger spikes and it's blowing air as it's cleaning. The machine is actually combined with an oxygen treatment that helps infuse my skin with oxygen whilst having the LED treatment, which is going to help improve my skin tone, brighten it up. And I can definitely see why it's firming because it's stimulating my muscles underneath. Then she pops on a collagen mask and we move on to ear CD. And apparently you can actually tell a lot about a person's health by looking at their ears. So let's find out how I'm doing. <gasps> yes, I have back problems. Which are the areas that I actually have problems with. I get back pain all the time. How many has she stuck? I don't even know. I feel like a lot. But right now, like I can kind of feel like my ears feel hot. And every time she placed a little sticker down, she kind of like pressed it a little bit. And so like, I don't know, I feel like my whole body is quite hot <laughs> at the moment. Um, and I guess it's like acupuncture, but of the ears. So each point means or kind of stimulates a different type of body part um, and your nervous system. So hopefully that means tonight I'm going to have a good night's sleep because I always have back pain and I always have trouble sleeping. Um, it's usually my, my lower back and I can't find a comfortable position. So hopefully that's going to help with this. <laughs> So we just noticed she placed some more ECs on this side and it's kind of like made this brow kind of like lift up. I literally feel like I'm doing this, but I'm not. And so she's going to add a couple more in to kind of like bounce my brows out. But that's so, so weird. Okay, so I will check back in two hours with you guys. So a few hours has passed and I'm back in my apartment. And I think my brows are kind of like back to normal. They're leveled and even again, but that was so bizarre because the owner had added a bit more ESCs on this side, which kind of like triggered a pressure point and kind of like lifted this brow up slightly. And so like I was doing this like weird thing and I could actually feel it. Like I felt like this side was kind of like contracting more or like, I don't know, it's just, it, it, it felt really weird. And so like after a while, after she added more ear seeds on this side, my brows have leveled out. Isn't that crazy? I'm like so fascinated with the fact that you can actually trigger certain parts of your body just by these simple like ear seed stickers and yeah she was really fast you knew exactly like where to place them and I really couldn't believe that you can tell that I had back pain by looking at my ear like it's so fascinating so I'm supposed to keep these ear seed stickers on for a minimum of two hours but I can keep them up to five days however honestly my ears hurt a little bit like it's really tender to touch so I think I might have trouble sleeping tonight if I kept them on <sighs> oh yeah definitely I don't think I can sleep with this tonight my ear is so tender and I'm a side sleeper so I think I might have to remove these 
So that night I didn't actually end up taking the e-seats off. I soldiered through and I just slept on my back trying not to touch my ears because they felt so tender. And actually falling asleep wasn't so bad. I kind of like drifted off straight away. Usually I find it kind of hard to fall asleep. So maybe that kind of helped with my sleeping routine or my insomnia. So that's a good thing. The next morning when I woke up, I found that I did not have back pain. Usually when I wake up, I really feel the soreness on my lower back, which I didn't feel the next day. And I was like amazed. I don't know if it was just in my head or if the actual ear seeds did work, but I did feel like something was a little bit different. Also by the morning, my ears felt less sore, um, but I did end up removing it later that day. I just used like my nails or Alfred had to actually like help me peel the ear seeds off. As for the facial treatment, I really enjoyed it. My skin felt so much better afterwards, a lot more hydrated. It felt more brighter and also very firm thanks to those massaging stick things. I did also feel that my face was a lot less puffier. Um, I don't know, maybe because like a couple days before I was eating a lot of like high salt content foods and so maybe that made me bloat or feel a little bit more puffy but after that treatment like the next day my face actually felt smaller also I really enjoyed the LED light therapy that had the oxygen and rotating function I've never seen a machine like that before so that was really interesting to me I wish they would make like a handheld version that you can use at home because that would be amazing people that go to this spa usually buy their treatments in packages so like packages of 10 they usually pay for it up front and then just go and use up their treatments so they don't really do like one-off treatments very often but FYI in case you're wondering how much it costs it would be $500 USD so it ain't cheap and I guess that is why they have celebrity clientele and they don't want me promoting their business they already have their appointment books jam-packed a lot of celebrities come for just the ear seating because not many other places or spas offer this sort of special treatment. Overall, I really enjoyed that treatment. It was definitely very different to what I'm used to when I go get facials. Plus, I've never had ear seating done before. And so that was really fascinating and interesting to me. If you guys ever tried ear seating out, please comment below and let me know your experience. Um, I'd love to find another place that offers this treatment because I did find that it did relieve my back pain. And so I want to try it again, but maybe at a cheaper price. <laughs> Anyways, that is it to this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye.